Hi there. So we're just going to show you how to bind and wire up an Absima SR2S radio set. So first of all, we have bind key, which comes with another in the same packet as the receiver. So that needs to go in the bind port, so the one that will bind. Okay. So next, if you use an electric model, so we've got an ESC, so the ESC wire goes in at channel two. So make sure the polarity is correct as well. So the darkest wire, in this case, the black wire, goes to the right hand edge of the receiver. It's actually labeled, as you can see there as well. So you've got negative, positive, and signal. So that goes in channel two, like so. If you're using a nitro car, uh, then you'd put your throttle server in channel two, and you'd plug your battery into the spare port, so channel three. Okay, and then you get your steering servo. So again, make sure polarity is correct. Goes into channel one, like so. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to power up the receiver first. And then the light should start blinking. And then we've got a bind button on the transmitter. So we need to press and hold that. So I'm using the aerial straw. And while doing so, turn the power to the transmitter on. Once you've done that, let go of the button. Go back to the receiver. Receiver light should be solid. So then power off the receiver, power off the transmitter. Then you want to remove bind key because we don't use that when operating the radio. And then see if it's bound. Power the transmitter on. Power your receiver on. Then we should have solid red light. Let's give it a test. And we haven't got a motor plugged in, so we can't test that output. Um, but yeah, that's the basics of, of wiring it up and binding a Absima SR2S radio set. Thanks.